I rest me deep within the wood, drawn by its silent call, far from the throbbing crowd of men, on nature's breast I fall. My couch is sweet with blossoms fair, a bed of fragrant dreams, and soft upon my ear there falls the lullaby of streams. The tumult of my heart is stilled within this sheltered spot, deep in the bosom of the wood, forgetting and forgot. Hello everyone and welcome to my favourite woods that is near to where we live. I hope you can hear me over the birds and Harvey rustling around in the ground below. The reason I wanted to make this video today is, to be honest, I was struggling to find the inspiration for a video. 
I was thinking about making a video about how I'm an only child and all the implications of that and my various opinions on the youth growing up today but it just didn't sit right it didn't feel natural and ultimately it's not really a video I wanted to make sometimes I find it very difficult to come up with ideas now I've noticed that I find it difficult to come up with ideas when I'm driving to work, in the office, in the house cleaning, basically anywhere that is concrete, man-made structures and very clinical. My brain just doesn't find any inspiration from it. But as soon as I go outside, and as soon as I start exploring the woods and the fields and the trees, I just look at it all and I'm like, I want to show you this. I want to share this with people. I want you to see how beautiful it is. Today, I've seen butterflies and dragonflies and bees and birds and the whole woods is alive with life and beauty and green and it just makes you feel so good inside. One of the things I thought I might make this video about was a very strange and almost magical thing happened in the woods here. It actually wasn't specifically in the woods, it was in the field of heathers which is oh about a mile from where I am right now. And I'll get to that bit in a minute. I listened to a podcast one day on druidism and forgive my ignorance for a long time I imagined druidism as uh, almost cultish religion um, I think of hammer horror movies the wicker man uh, old men with long beards I didn't really know much about it so I made assumptions about it based on my very limited knowledge to my shame I find it very important to learn about all religions, all faiths, all belief systems, just to widen our knowledge, broaden our minds and just help us hopefully understand each other a bit better. So I listened to this podcast about Druidism and I was just thinking, huh, that's what I believe in. That aligns with my thoughts completely. Huh. This sounds like a familiar thought train that goes on in my head a lot of time. So for example, one of the things that stands out to me is I've sort of come to a conclusion over the years that every creature on this planet is of equal value. I feel like we very often concentrate on us as humans and ultimately put our value above everybody else's, whether it's because we've developed the world in such a way that is fascinating we understand science we understand how things work and I completely and utterly appreciate that I completely appreciate that we excel in certain areas that a lot of animals just simply don't but to me it does not logically follow that that means we have more value than another creature so as much as I oh I love all creatures but slugs leeches and ticks just really ick me out but I still believe that they are of equal value to us. And that was one of the principles I were talking about in Druidism. So I thought I'd explore it a little bit more. I started reading a book called Principles of Druidry. Principles of Druidry. Principles of Druidry. I can't say Druidry. I started reading a book called Principles of Druidry by Emma Restall Orr and it's about all the basic beliefs of druids and druidism it's not a religion it's not certainly not a cult it's more of a belief system that really concentrates on love and respect for nature and love within nature because we do forget that we are all a part of nature I really like to immerse myself in things when I, when I start researching something and I like to do it properly. There's various exercises in the book that you can practice which help you get in tune with nature. 
I started doing one of these exercises and one of these is going to the woods or somewhere in nature as far away from I suppose humanity and um, modern buildings as you can and you make offerings to nature. Uh, so I brought some bread, some apples and some of Harvey's tripe sticks. And the idea is that you give these offerings to the trees, the lakes, the ponds and the earth to say thank you for, for, for providing life and thank you for enriching our world and saying that you appreciate being there. And as a gesture, I just feel like it helps you get closer to nature. So this is what I did. I went through the woods and through the heather field to a tiny little pond that I knew was there. And it was very quiet it was autumn and I was making these offerings I was with Harvey and I wasn't paying attention to that much really and I was putting some apples in the pond and saying thank you water thank you for being there thank you for giving us life and I looked up and there was a deer stood about 20 feet from where I was and the deer just looked at me and I looked back at the deer and then I'm presuming it was a she just ran away with a fluffy white bottom and she was gone. I have seen monk jack in these woods before and I've seen the odd deer but that has been very 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 few and far between over the last 10 years. It was the biggest deer I've seen here and there was a moment where I thought, what just happened? Was that actual magic? Was that nature somehow speaking back to me? Or was it just an incredible coincidence that I am reading too much into? I'm not daft. I know that deers live in woods and you're likely to come across them sometimes. But it was just the timing of it was really weird. And I just sort of love the idea that that is what happened. The more I started looking into Druidry, the more I really love it as a belief system because it's not a faith. You can be Christian and a Druid, you can be Muslim and a Druid, you can be a Hindu and a Druid. It's about love for nature and love for each other and taking care of the world around us. That's the part of it I really align to. And it's all about creativity and I only get creative, I only feel inspired when I'm out in the natural world, experiencing nature being part of what we are. I think one of the things that led me to making this video today is there was a 400 year old oak tree that was recently cut down in a, a local neighbourhood. There was nothing wrong with this tree. It was in somebody's front garden and I think to be honest with you they had just got fed up of clearing up the leaves and I call them peanuts <laughs> clearing up the peanuts um, off the floor and so they cut it down and that tree had been there long before they had long before the house had been built the tree was there during the life of William Shakespeare and the life of King James and with one fell swoop it is gone and it made me feel quite sad because just because people find things inconvenient they just get rid of them without a thought so I think that's what led me to here was the sadness at seeing a tree being cut down and the fact I was struggling to find inspiration for a video so I came back to where I find inspiring which is nature. If you did want to learn a bit more about druidry just out of interest then um, I'll put a link to the book in the description below. There's also a YouTube channel um, called Tea with a Druid and it's uh, Philip Gomkar is the host and all kind of druidness aside he covers some very interesting topics and there are some very interesting healthy open debates going on there um, so maybe give his uh, channel a look I will also post that in the description below I'd love to hear your opinions on this as usual any opinion is valid I am happy to listen I 
I love a healthy debate. If you have an opinion that disagrees with mine, please share it because it is fascinating to know how other people think. I like to keep an open mind and I like to learn. So thank you for all the information that lots of you have given me so far on other videos, including book recommendations and how to get splinters out is very, very useful. So let's share the knowledge, let's love each other and let's look after nature.